Welcome back. So in our Selenium with Java series, today we are going to see how we can handle iframes. So what are iframes actually? So iframes are basically, it's like a inside a HTML, there will be another HTML elements will be there, which will be, we kind of say that embedded actually. So normally if you see any kind of YouTube videos or any kind of videos that if you are embedding from different sources into your application, that always stays inside a iframe actually. So it's kind of embedding some elements into your application. So just to give you a, a view about how exactly iframe looks like, let me go to this demo. Now here you can see, so these are the normal elements actually here you can see. But inside this, in this particular screen, we have two frames are present. How do you know that a particular element is present inside a frame or not? Okay, so the first thing is that you have to first identify this element. Let's say that I want to click on this one or maybe I want to read this particular text actually. So I can do an inspect. Okay, and here it is coming frame text. Fine. Now let me try to get the text of this one. So for this what I will do, I will create a new Java file. So let me just copy this and paste it and then here let me just say iframe okay now here let me delete everything and let me just go to this particular link fine okay now what is that frame text right now what i'm going to do here i'm going to print this one actually so driver dot find element by dot id and inside this i will put this one oops i think frame text right so frame text okay and i will say dot get text not here get text fine so this one actually i'm going to print it now let's see Okay, uh, so it's thrown some error actually on this line which is telling that the frame text is not visible. You can see no such element exception it is coming. But whereas if I'm right clicking on this one, I could see that there is a frame text. So the reason is that as you can see here, this is inside a frame actually. So that's why as normal we can use these links, we cannot use any element that is inside a frame. So how do you know that this particular element is inside a frame or not? You have to right click near to that element and you can see there is a view frame source or a reload frame. So when these two options are coming, you mean to, so that time you should understand that these elements are inside a frame. Now here just for a, what do you call recognition purpose we have given a border but you might not get a border also in some of the applications but whenever you are using right locators also you are not getting don't worry that it's not problem with selenium it might be inside a frame so you just right click and check that if it is inside a frame or not now today we are going to see how we can handle uh, these iframe elements and what are the options or selenium methods are available as i was telling it is a html inside an html you can see this is entirely a group of uh, i mean a html dome actually inside your parent dome so that is what the frame is all about okay so now let me close this one so to handle this one to properly make it work what i need to do i need to use the selenium specific method and that is driver dot switch to actually switch to frame now you can see now this frame is consisting of three different parameters or three different types we can switch to a particular frame one is your int index you can put some index like if you have two iframes and you want to switch to the first one you can just use the index zero to move to the first uh, frame iframe second one is your oops sorry so control space bar no okay i think it didn't come yeah so now, now the second option you can use a string name or ID. So you can use the name or ID. Name or ID means if I go to this application, you can see here each frame has a ID or a name. 
if you have a id you can use that as a string if you don't have id you can use the name as a what do you call parameter inside this so for an instance this is uh, name is frame name one right so i can keep like this frame name one i can give like this so it may accept your name attribute or a id attribute as well and then the third parameter is if i delete this one now the third parameter is the web element itself so you can identify that element by using xpath or something and then you use that web element inside so like i can tell you either you can use 0 or 1 if you know what index or which iframe you want to handle it or you want to switch to if not you can use the name or id attribute if not you have another option as well so what you can do you can do like this web element okay and then you will say frame one equal to driver dot find element let's say that there is no id no name is there okay i have to identify by using the iframe itself only so at that time what i can use i can do like this iframe okay and this is basically my tag name right and here by xpath i need to do by xpath and if i go to the selectors hub actually you can do like this i frame okay it will give me two elements right because this is my first this is my second so here what i can do so i can use the index here and then index one means it will go to my first one so i can use the xpath as well here so inside this i will put like this in double quotes and this one let me delete this now i identified that if there is no name no id is there let's say for an instance there is no name no id is there so you can use by an xpath or css selector whatever you want and this element you can put it inside this okay so you can use like this or you can use by by your index okay or you can use name attribute name is frame name one right so here you can say frame name one okay you can use that one or else even you can use by using the id as a parameter frame one right so frame one so you can use even like this any one of these ways you can use to identify your frame so this is by index this is parameter as name attribute okay and this one parameter is id attribute any one of these you can use as id attribute fine any one of these don't use all at the same time okay so for now let's see only by this one actually and this is by using web element as parameter to identify the web element fine now i can use this once i will switch to this frame then i can use this one actually let's try to run this okay so it printed properly let's wait yeah it closed the browser you can see now it is giving properly because we switched inside the frame now whatever elements are present you can click on this link you can fetch the text you can even identify how many links are present inside this like i can even print like this also system dot out dot print ln driver dot find element by dot tag name and here i will say a by dot a and i will say dot size okay and here i should be using s and then here i will say size okay i can print like this also now let's do one thing actually once after we will do this one we want to click on this link actually so let's try to do that one and it is pavilion right so here what i will do driver dot find element by dot link text and here this is oops what is this pavilion right now what i want to do after i will do everything inside that frame whatever it is there then i want to do a click event actually and here let's do some wait inside this fine now let's run this
okay so it will count the number of links then i want to click on this pavilion button or the link it seems like the, it is throwing some error let's see what is that okay so first it read properly the inside frame whatever it is there then you see it is only counting see i said driver dot find elements by tag name a but there are so many links are there one two three four five links are there but it is only giving two count only the reason is that we are still inside this frame only so this selenium has scope inside this frame so whatever i will do by switching to this frame i will be i can do only this one only that's why whenever I was trying to click on this pavilion link, it was not happening because it is out of my frame actually. So then how do I reach out or how do I go back out of this iframe? See normally what happens if you are performing say, any uh, actions on this one, you can perform as usual. Then you switch to the frame. You perform whatever actions you want to do. You do validations. Then you want you have to come out of this actually. How do you come out of that? So there is a method available which is driver dot switch to and this is called as a default content actually. So when you type default content, this will come out of iframe actually. Now you can perform any action on these elements. Maybe click on home button, click on this pavilion link, blogger or anything. But if you want to switch to the second one, then you have to again switch to the second one. I will show you. First, let's do this one. Let, let's see first this driver dot default content is working fine or not. Now you see the pavilion link is clicked actually because we are switching to the default content. We came out and then now any elements on that screen we can access it. Okay, now let's say that we want to go to the frame 2 actually. We want to enter some text here. Now how do we do that? As usual, come to the default content. Then what we need to do? We need to switch to again. So we need to switch to frame. Now this time let's use an ID or something of this frame. So inspect this one. Oops, not this one. Let me open. So here now let me right click inspect. Now here actually you can see there is a ID is there. So what I will do here, not this one. Where is the iframe? Yeah, you can see the ID is frame 2, right? So inside this I can say in double quote frame 2. Now this will switch to my, so first it will perform the frame once whatever task it has to do. Then it is coming back to the default one. Then it will switch to the next frame actually. Then here what we will be doing, let's say that we want to enter some text into this one. So inspect and this is frame input, right? Now here let's come this and driver dot find element by dot ID inside this and then dot send keys and inside this i will say qab box okay then i cannot again click on this pavilion what i need to do i need to come again out of this frame 2 actually now this time i'm coming out of frame 2 this is frame 1 actually then i can click on this link let me wait in each stage so that you can see this in action so what it will do first frame it will do something come out of that then it will enter some text actually into the second frame actually then it will wait for some time and click on the pavilion link let's see this in action so first it will read the text count the number of uh, links and then it entered and then it clicked on the link actually you can see everything finished so like this you can handle multiple frames sometimes what might happen you know so if i go this let's say there is a iframe this is a frame actually first frame inside this there might be another frame also okay so that time what we can do nested frame so what we can do once you switch to that frame then again you can switch to another frame actually now here you can put like this and inside this the child frame whatever the name id or index will be there you can utilize that as well so this is actually nested framing so always you need to 
see that how many iframes are present if you are not sure how many iframes are present what you can do whenever you are running i mean going into this particular link or the page what you can do is when a simple thing is that you just print it actually driver dot find element by dot tag name and here you will say iframe okay and then you will say dot size you have to do a find elements and this has to be dot size now this will give you entirely how many total like i can write it here so this will print total number of total number of parent iframes parent iframes on your screen okay if you are not sure then you can type this one actually now once you switch to inside a frame then again you can run like this by tag name iframe so that you can see if there is any child iframes are there or not there it will be very rare i think you will mostly get like this scenarios only normally i can give you one real time example most of your login pages like whenever you go to any of the application the username password and then the sign in button those things always will be in a iframe actually so i mean whenever you are trying to identify the username but you cannot get it make sure that uh, it's it is not inside an iframe actually by doing this if you can see view frame source or reload frame then don't try to access it directly you have to switch to that frame based on whatever criteria selenium is providing then you perform your action come out of the iframe by using the default content method okay so this is pretty much about your iframe and we will see even how so what you can do whenever you are switching to something and if you are preparing a framework what you can do this line of code actually driver dot switch to frame you can put it into a utility method you have to just send with a name id or a web element as a parameter to that so that you need not to write every time driver dot switch to frame okay like this you can do we will see that while designing our framework actually so that's pretty much it for today hope this session is helpful do subscribe to this youtube channel if you haven't thank you for watching